my favorite Libra. Hi. If there is an extended, it'll be available on YouTube members. Link will be in the description box below. Man, 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 man. If you guys watched the Leo and Virgo reading, that shit was crazy, okay? You guys were dishing out karma. You were dishing out the truth that was hurting people, okay? It was hurting this person specifically or just people in general. But I think it's whoever you're thinking about, all right? You had to tell somebody about themselves going back to Gemini's reading. Um, and ever since then, like, there's a Leo Virgo, okay? They have the fifth house or 12th or no, sixth house placements, whatever, they are feeling it okay they are definitely feeling whatever you had to say and the karma okay somebody hurts you okay and um you had to you know you had to call judgment on the situation and now you know let freedom ring let freedom ring now the last reading i did for you guys libra you were scaring somebody okay uh, somebody was mad because they can't they couldn't finesse the finesse and they are scared as fuck of you and going back to Virgo's reading that I just finished, the part two version, you know, this is someone's karma. Uh, this is part of their karma here. You know, this is someone who lives their life in a very controlled manner. And they refused to love you. They kept you at a distance. They wanted to choose other people over you because they were predictable. They were in control of the situation. Um, you know, somebody judged your appearance per usual um, and they felt like you or they try to convince themselves that you were like everyone else, i.e. a gold digger or a user. You were going to end up hurting them. Uh, you didn't really love them or like them for who, who, like for them. This is just someone who was coming up with all these damn excuses to not give you their all, to not open up, to not, like keep you at a distance. And so a lot of you guys may have cut this person off. Um, you're just done. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a vibe of, you know, you're the one that got away. This is someone who has manifested their fears, literally. And it's their fault, okay? It's all their fault. And um, they're trying to hide that they're scared and fearful and shit. But that's all, that's basically going to get exposed. So it was, it was different last week because they were scared of you, la, 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 la. But I feel like you're calling somebody out for being scared. Like you're exposing someone. All right, we have the ten of cups, no, two of cups here with the seven of swords. So there's some type of exposure here, okay? Let a Libra do it. <laughs> yeah, judgment, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you have to call a judgment in order to get justice and boom. All right, judgment is going to be called on this seven of swords, things that are being done in the dark here. All right, somebody's scary. Yep, three of cups is here, the same three of cups coming out. It's like somebody was, they were definitely choosing other people over you because they were predictable, they were in control. They may, obviously, like this is someone who goes off of appearances, so they definitely didn't look like you, okay? These people were definitely, definitely not on your level in the look department, all right? <laughs> At all, even sexually. I feel like a lot of you guys may have, you know, hit them with the blocka blocka. I did see that in Virgo's reading as well. They wanted to keep you at a distance. Now you're keeping them at a distance. They don't like it. Um, everything they did to you, you may be doing to them or this is what they fear. And um, we're going to see what happens here. I did just see the Three of Pentacles and that Three of Pentacles was coming out reversed, I believe, in Leo's reading. I went the fuck off. Some of y'all may have went the fuck off on somebody. But somebody, they may want to act right. I don't know. I did see the three pentacles upright. So before it was reversed, they may want to act right. Don't know. Yeah, the truth is coming through. The come through, this Ace of Swords was also coming out in Virgo's reading as well. If you are new here, uh, all of my readings connect to each other. So what happened in Virgo's reading is going to affect Libra and so forth and so on. Okay. Uh, what happened in Aries is going to affect Libra. Taurus, Gemini, it doesn't matter. They all connect. It's all story. So we have the Ace of Swords here. This is the truth. That truth was coming out in Virgo's reading and somebody was hurt. They was mad. They was definitely hurt. All right. It hurt. The truth set someone free, but the truth will hurt first. All right. And um, here we are. Period. You, you let them have it. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords reversed. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody definitely hurt you. Go back to Aries reading. I literally was fucking crying. I felt that pain for real. 
So now we have the Five of Swords reversed. So this is, to me, self-sabotage. Um, you calling someone out for their self-sabotaging ways that uh, derive from fear, pretty much. And, you know, them being a little... All right, whatever confusion that they were trying to hold on to or mind game, sabotage, okay, uh, just, uh, you just, I didn't know, you just came in with it, like, okay, that's not even an excuse anymore, here's that damn truth, okay? I was also getting a perspective changed, so from Aries to Cancer, I feel like that may have been your perspective I was picking up on, and then Leo and Virgo was their perspective, all right, basically how you were making them feel based off of the truth that you were spitting. All right, what was that? Mm-hmm. And now we're back to yours, okay? Now we're back to your perspective here. Now we have the King of Pentacles coming out. So this may be someone, this King Pentacles is coming out also in Virgo, it's coming out and everyone else is reading as well, but here we are, okay? It could be uh, Earth sign, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I really think it was a Virgo possibly though, more specifically. We have the Page of Wands, not gonna take it. I don't know this may be someone that wants to see. yeah look will of fortune this will of fortune was coming out i think in taurus is reading actually yeah look now the knight of cups is coming now with the three of wands here's a star aquarius the devil i don't know libra this is the very thing that somebody was trying to avoid so damn bad. It, but it's like y'all kept coming back around to each other over and over and over and over again. This was not one of them situations where you need to depart from each other and y'all keep repeating the same cycle and it's a toxic one. No, this was a situation where somebody, it was destined, it was fated, like it just had to happen. And somebody was avoiding it like a mother, avoiding it like a mf -er. I'm telling you, go back to Gemini's reading. This mf -er is a stubborn... And I said, this MF is a stubborn and hard-headed mo- I think that's that Taurus. Could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or these placements were- These placements that they have were definitely interfering here. But uh, here's this Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups was coming out, I believe, in Aries reading with the Temperance card. With the Ace of Cups. And something else. So I feel like this Knight of Cups is someone trying to come in to, I don't know, maybe commit or settle down. Apologize for the Five of Swords, them hurting you with this Five of Swords energy. She also looks like she's in a wedding dress. All right, this is somebody, you know, with the will of fortune, with the truth. Like, you can't escape this here. But a lot of people think free will exists and... They think they're stronger than whatever the case is, but you know, somebody's determined, like somebody is being proven wrong here. This is what was supposed to happen with this three of wands. Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you knew this already. I don't, it just kind of feels like Libra, you guys are going to get what you want. It's not even about getting what you want, but like you're never going to be on the, the negative side of justice. Like it's just, it's never going to happen. It may appear that way for some time. It only, you know, it may appear that way, but it always comes out in your favor. It will always come out in your favor every time. It has to, it will, period. And that's why they're scared of you because it's, it's like a vibe. You're the only one. You are the only mf -er in life that, like, you're the only one. And that's scary to this person. You are the, they know that they, listen, <laughs> they know they're stubborn and hard-headed. They know they gonna fight to the death to not do, they may have Aquarius placements. They know they're gonna do the complete opposite of what other people want. 
every time they are a master at it right until you i'm telling you it's like you got somebody dropping down to their knees you are the one you are the one that has this person on their knees every time i don't care if this is a man or a woman they surrender okay you got them on their knees or you have their legs open it doesn't matter every time every single time every time the difference with this time, I feel like it's 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 solidified. Like I think this is is it's a rat. Like somebody is done fighting. Um going back to Aries reading, like you're opposite, like somebody really had you hurt in Libra. I'm not gonna lie. You definitely had you you was on the other you it felt like you probably were on the negative side of the karmas. Okay. You it felt like you was on the shit list. It did, but you can't be the Libra. You have to understand both sides of the scales for you to be balancing them. You have to take the good with the bad. You got to deal with the bad to have the good. You get what I'm saying? You have to be willing to do that there. It's never going to be all good for you, period. You're you're the example, but that's why you're the one in charge. You're the, the example. You are the example. So it doesn't matter how good life appears to others or whatever, you had to deal with some stuff before you had anything good. That's that's kind of like the, the deal. That's the ultimatum for you. It, anybody jealous of you, they shouldn't be because you had to deal with the fucked up part, okay? You had to be a rags before you had the riches. You get what I'm saying? You had to deal with small penises before the big ones. You get what I mean? You had to get cheated on before you experienced true loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Right? You had to deal with unfaithfulness before you had unwavering faithfulness. You know what I mean? Shall I continue for the mother in the back hating? Hmm? You let me know. Y'all know I love my Libras. Okay, I got a Libra ascendant, Jupiter in Libra, North Node in Libra. Oh, I love my Libras. Mm -hmm. But that's how I know, especially with my, my Jupiter in Libra. That's how I know. That's what I have learned. Jupiter energy. I have to take the bad first to get the good. I don't get the good first before the bad. Oh no. You get the bad first and then you get the good. So yeah, for some of you, especially with this relationship shit, it may have felt like you were on the shit list. You always get hurt. You have, your justice is um, this person coming on their knees, okay? This person laying on their back. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth here. Just like in Le uh, Gemini's reading, it, like somebody, it just wasn't clicking. Like somebody is hard-headed as hell. They just could not understand they couldn't understand the mission and they made it harder for themselves. Jupiter is the lesson. That is the project. That is the assignment. Jupiter is the assignment. Saturn is the hardship you go through if you don't learn or do the assignment. If you don't understand. Could be doing a Sagittarius or, you know... Something like that's happening. I'm getting Sagittarius energy. But that's why someone's scared of you here. Because they don't... How? How are you the one? <laughs> you Like, you... I'm not a man. Listen, I can't even talk right now. All I know... Yeah, Knight of Cups again. All I know is somebody is, is about to be done. Fighting it. Um, somebody surrenders. Somebody surrenders here. Uh, what is the Knight of Cups? Yep, Ace of Pentacles. I'm seeing it. <laughs> Look, somebody surrenders. It kind of reminds me of uh, coming to America when uh, King Zamunda or Hakim, he was ready to denounce his throne for that woman. Mm -hmm. At the end, he was ready to give up everything for that woman. That's what I'm getting. Granted, she didn't want him to because, you know, she wanted the benefits. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. She wanted the benefits of the queendom and all that there, but he was ready to give it up. I surrender. Yeah, that's the vibe. <laughs> Yo, what is um? I kind of.
I don't even want to touch this. I feel like I can't, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the uh, Ace of Swords. Yeah, I don't want to touch it. But this was the process with the Knight of Pentacles. This was definitely a process. I don't want to touch this here. I see the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Y'all may have cancer placements. They may have cancer placements, whatever. All the placements are here, this Wheel of Fortune, all the signs. King of Pentacles is giving Nine of Pentacles. I think that's you. I feel like this is someone who wants to provide for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. This reminds me of me with the birds. I just love birds. So I don't know if you guys are into birds as well. Uh, let me see your crow call yeah that could be what that's talking about as well let me see yeah funny your crow call libra was another job well done you understood an another assignment yep see i told you that assignment shit yeah will of fortune is also a uh, jupiter to me yep yep uh, yeah it's connecting it's definitely connecting yep it is yep as i say that judgment yeah 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 we have the uh queen of swords she was coming out in uh gemini's reading and she was the one spitting them bars she was the one coming out with uh i think the queen of no was it the queen of swords or did she come out in cancer's reading i think she came out in cancer's reading actually but she was spitting bars okay i think that's y'all <laughs> yeah look six of pentacles is coming through with the come through yeah this king of pentacles is ready to um mm -hmm. whether that's a man or a woman but you know this king of pentacles is definitely giving spreading the love this is the very thing that they were not trying to do in the beginning you are the one man You're smart, you're beautiful. You're very articulate, maybe you might be well read, whatever. To me, this is giving maturity here. You stand on business, what's fair is fair. You, you know, have high standards. You, you stand on principle. Somebody is, um, Mm -hmm. six of cups is coming out as well so you have the six of pentacles six of cups that's that kind of like past life energy or y'all have memories histories memories this could also be sex as well <laughs> yeah we have the knight of cups coming out so yeah this is exactly where this knight of cups this is where this king of pentacles is coming through with the come through they are um they're doing what they're they're being told uh, by the most high okay <laughs> they're they're listening to their intuition they're listening to their emotions their feelings they coming on in yeah they are they are mm -hmm. here's the emperor coming out the emperor was the main one causing the hurt and the pain i'm telling you i'm i'll never forget that shit I have never cried in any Aries reading in life. This it's been almost four years. I've never cried during an Aries reading, and that month had me crying. Whoever this person was, crying. How dare this mother? I would expect that with Cancer, Pisces, maybe, 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 maybe heavy on the maybe for Scorpio, but never in Aries. Are you kidding me? In Aries, oh somebody done did it there. Yo, just like they may have broke you down, Libra, you broke them down. Let me tell you, you broke them down. Break up, down, break up, break up, down. You broke them down. But they, I think they broke you down first. <sighs> I, but it had to. That's the scales. That's the scales. It's their turn to be broke down. I'm done. Yeah, now these three cups is finally reversed. This mother... 
Yeah, now we got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, now we got the Ten of Cups here. Motherfucker. Now the Three of Swords is reversed as well. I think this Ten of Cups was coming out in Aries reading as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. I don't think I'm gonna do an extended for y'all. Y'all know I love you, so <laughs> y'all get the full reading. But um yeah, we'll see what happens in Scorpio because that's when things get real. Oh, somebody has a dominant kink. Oh, we gonna see. Ooh, look, man, listen. <laughs> I knew it I knew it look 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 the last reading I did for Scorpio I'm only mentioning Scorpio because I'm about to do Scorpio and again the re the, re the energy goes into the next one right so here we all are and I just keep saying somebody's gonna have you on your knees or you're gonna have them on their knees and they gonna have you on your back um Scorpio was giving a dominant kink somebody has a dominant kink and we have an emperor here uh also something from the back here too yeah once you on your knees wants to inflict some pain we have aggressive fantasies here oh so this sounds like makeup sex but this sounds like one that's going down in the books this is going down in the books that judge judy has to record oh damn 